C'était il y a quelques semaines à la Nouvelle-Orléans. Sylvester Stallone recevait notre journaliste Luca Celada sur le tournage de son nouveau film, Du plomb dans la tête. Un polar réalisé par le vétéran Walter Hill dont on a récemment découvert les premières images et qui a tout l'air de ressembler à un bon vieux buddy movie à l'ancienne. Histoire de rappeler que Walter Hill a mis en scène le buddy movie ultime 48 heures. Sur le tournage, Talon avait l'air heureux d'être là et a évoqué sans problème pendant l'interview tous les sujets de son statut d'acteur vieillissant de film d'action à la façon de concevoir le buddy movie dans du plomb dans la tête. Relationship, if anything, we hate each other's guts. Taylor Kwan, WDCPD. I thought I smelled a cop. But we're thrown together through necessity, so it's an anti-buddy movie where you sort of learn a little mutual respect, but I'm a killer, he's a cop, so you can't get further apart. But we're there for a mutual um, chore. And a lot of the person usually being your character that you've been closely identified with. Is this also the case here? Is there a lot of sly in, in your... No question about it. I, I, I said it before that this, like when I do Copland, I have to pay a certain kind of character. Even Rocky, right. he's one that seems to be one step behind. And Rambo is this very pessimistic guy who is a man of few words. This is pretty much the way I would approach it. Let's just say I was a hitman. Sylvester Stallone was a hitman. This is the way I would act. <laughs> you also, uh, what you were describing, I believe, Mr. Hill, a battle-hardened sergeant. Uh, yeah. Does that, what does that mean? What do you mean by that? And does that apply to you? You come across so many characters in this business that are uh, sometimes running scared or talk a good game, and they really don't have anything to back it up. But it's like talking to a World War II veteran and say, yeah, I was there in Normandy. I, I fought the battles. I lost soldiers, and I also had victories. So you know that he's not full of crap. He's the real deal. So when he tells you something, you believe it, as opposed to a neophyte who has never done a film, but he's telling you how to make a movie. You see what I mean? It's a little difference. And you also need that, you need life experience to come through as uh, sincere, I guess, in, in your Yeah, work. yeah. The audience is too damn smart or too damn hungry to just put up with fluff. And it may come about in just a certain nuance, a glance, the way you talk to your daughter, the way you even commit a crime, the way you react to it, what's going on in your eyes, that you're just not there collecting a paycheck going, boom. There's something going on. There's always another voice. When I'm acting, I'm, I'm thinking at the same time, why am I doing this? Why, why, why should I be really doing this? You're questioning your motives all the time. You were also mentioning something interesting, I thought, that it's important sometimes to have had it all, have lost it, mm -hmm. and maybe getting it back or in the process. That you're talking from personal experience, yeah, I take it's, it? it? It's a horrible situation, <laughs> but it really does, uh, I think, give true meaning to life. When you're on top, everything's fine. You, will, I will always cherish an athlete or anyone who's been, been to the top and knocked out, beaten to the ground. Because then you're gonna see, does he get up or does he just lay there and become a broken human being? That's, that's really what life is about, is taking the beating, getting up, keep going on. Very few people, unfortunately, don't do that. They'd be surprised if they tried, they would succeed. And another thing that comes around in a lot of your work uh, is being an aging character and dealing with that. Uh, I, you know, uh, Mr. Hill is not on his first movie either. <laughs> uh, do you guys feel like you're holding your own, that you're transmitting something of value maybe to oh, the next no generation? Oh, no doubt about it. You know, it's, it's like playing with an old chess master. You know, you, they know all the moves and you're not going to fool them. And there's nothing you can say to him that he hasn't heard before. I, I love that a great deal. And I, and I think that there's so much talent out there, unfortunately, that's, that's being underused because of the mere fact that, well, you peak at a certain point. And I think you do. 
I think a lot of people do fold their tents at a certain age. Like, well, I got nothing more to prove. Sure you do. Sure you do. If you want to, there's a lot of mountains to climb out there. So when you come across a kindred spirit, because he's tough, man. He, he wants it. I want it. You're not running out of mountains. Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> when I do, I'm going to build a new one. You and me, family one unfinished business to take care of. You're going to fight or you plan on boring me to death. <laughs> I know, I've heard the speech. We should have taken him in. 